New VR games. Well, we've had a bunch drop this week, four titles for the Quest and a title even for the PSVR 2, if you can believe it. It's been a hell of a week and I have played all of these games, but I couldn't possibly cover them all on the channel because it's just, I don't have the time to make five videos <laughs> as well as the additional content that I've already made this week. But what I do want to do for you is give you a little bit of a showcase of each of these games so that you can go and pick them up if you want to. Let's dive in to the first game that dropped this week that I think you guys should be paying attention to, and that is Legendary Tales. This game dropped for the PSVR 2. It has been in early access for a long time on PC VR, but finally it's making its way over to the console now, and I think this is a great move from them. Now, I jumped into this game completely blind with a guide, my good old friend Mateo311. Make sure you check out his channel if you haven't. Honestly, we had an absolute blast in this. Now, this is something that I need to explain about this game. Don't go into this expecting to have all of the goodness given to you straight away. This is very much a game that rewards you the more you grind, and you do need to grind in this game. Uh, but going into it, we had a good fun fighting through a bunch of enemies, and of course you start off with some weak ass weapons, but you're only gonna get better weapons as you go through this game. You are gonna unlock those via like killing enemies and then obviously crunching their crystals and getting your rewards. This game is very, very cool. It's very much a full-on rogue like RPG freaking every other explanation for a game smashed into one, <laughs> but it is fun. Uh, the combat in it, I would say, is fairly uh, basic when it comes to combat games, but what it does have going strong for it is really a bunch to do in this. Like every single time you turn a corner, you're going to be coming up against a new type of enemy, a new type of boss, something fun that's going to keep you going. I think the best way that you could really explain this game is it's Dungeons of Eternity, but better looking. That, that is really the category that I'd put this in. So you're not going to expect to have like the most epic sword fight you've ever had in your life in there because really you're going to leave that up to games like Swordsman VR and things like that. But this is really a good fun all-round experience when it comes to wanting to get in with a friend or a group of friends and just have some fun. Next up is Ghost of Tabor. I jumped in this to check it out on the quest. Honestly, I was quite impressed. It's not the best looking version of this game, of course, because we're used to seeing it on PC VR, but nonetheless, they have done a really good job of porting this to the quest. Now, this is a punishing game, but a rewarding game at the same time. You're going to go in for a run, and essentially, you're going to have two things happen. You're either going to take some good equipment in there, and you're going to partake potentially get some even better equipment to extract with, or you're going to go in there as a Nike with just maybe a pistol and again seek through his rewards. But the truth is, no matter what you take in there, whether it's a lot of stuff or a little of stuff, then it really is at the fate of, and the mercy of whoever you're going to come up against there. Now, I can tell you I dived in there and had an absolute blast taking out a bunch of people, and I made it all the way to the extraction in my first run to be met with the one and only Lonely Viper. And if you're, on one, if you're unaware of who Lonely Viper is, they are a disgustingly good shot in every single game. They're also another fellow VR creator. But yeah, I got shot in the face right at the end as I was trying to extract, and it was pretty damn savage. But that goes to explain why this game is good, because it has a lot of potential going on inside of it. If you're looking for something where you can get in and grind, also you can jump in with your friends if you want to have a bit of fun while you're on this journey. Solo is definitely always an option as well, so just enjoy yourself in this. I, I personally, I think this game is very fun. Next up is Borderbots. Borderbots dropped and it's kind of like a Papers, Please-esque experience where you're going to be going through basically working on a counter. It's a very stationary game, very good if you're new to VR, and honestly, if you're just looking for a chill stationary experience, this is going to be good fun for you as well. Getting in there, checking all the documentation to make sure that you're okaying the robot going through or not, with a bunch of fun and silly things that's going to happen as you go through there. Don't have much to say on this one other than it's just good silly fun. If you want to jump into there and experience it, you're going to have an absolute blast. It's really colourful, it's really well made, it's got some fun voice lines in there and some really funny little in-jokes as well, so if if you're looking for that kind of experience where you're a bit more stationary, a bit more chill, this is going to be one for you. Keeping up with that silly theme, we have got Titan's Clinic. Now, this game actually surprised me. I would actually did a sponsored video for this the other day, but I really enjoyed myself inside of this. It was one of those games where I was offered a sponsored video, I took a look at the game, and I started playing it just to see if I was going to enjoy this and put it on channel, and I just lost myself inside of it. I had an absolute blast just changing out the teeth on these Titans, whilst getting some weird and wacky sort of materials and tools to be able to do it with, and it just turned into one 
one of those games that I lost myself into for a couple of hours. If you like the look of this, I think you're going to really, really enjoy this. And if you don't, well, then I suggest you maybe give it a little bit of a try because I think you're going to enjoy it in the long run. It's got a lot of goofy, silly things in there, but honestly, it kind of adds to the element of what makes this game fun and special in the first place. So I, I actually recommend this. It's good fun. I enjoyed myself with it at least, and uh, hopefully you do too. Last up on the list is Dragon Fist Kung Fu. This is actually a game that's been around for a while, but they've just dropped multiplayer in it. Essentially making this literally Mortal Kombat in virtual reality. This is so damn fun. I jumped in this with a friend earlier uh, in the week and I just had an absolute blast playing this. Now this is actually going to put a test of your skills, your real life skills to the battle as you're going to fight somebody. Uh, you can fight actually in groups which is really really fun uh, and honestly this is just a blast. If you want to get in and kung fu beat down all of your friends this is going to be the place to do it. I really hope that they continue to grow this game as it felt really solid of an experience to get in there and fight someone and not only that it felt like everything that that game always needed was just that last little bit of that multiplayer effort towards it. So massive win on that front getting that update and of course it doesn't cost you any extra if you already had the game, you just got a dope update come out this week for it. So very, very cool all round. Well, that pretty much does it for all the games that we have coming out this week. Honestly, there is a bunch of good there. One thing I'll always say, and I always try and recommend in these videos, if you're on Quest and you're picking up any of these titles, remember you have a two hour window in which you can get a refund on these things. So if it's worth giving some of these a try because worst case scenario, you don't like it, well, you get to refund it and there's no harm, no foul. Just remember you always have that option on Quest. Sadly, you don't have the same option on PSVR 2 because it's just a bit of a bad system when it comes to that sort of thing. But if you're a Quest user, then you do have that option. So it's worth trying things out, even something like Ghost of Tabor, if you're not sure if it's going to be your genre of game, well then you still can give it a try and worst case scenario, you know, you, you, go, you go back from it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, smash like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm going to try and do these videos from now on and I would love your feedback. If you've made it to the end of this video, you're clearly watching all the way through and I appreciate you the most. But what I will say is I'm kind of wondering whether I should be doing these weekly recaps each week where I can show you essentially everything that's come out. Even if I have covered it on the channel, because you might have missed those videos it gives you just a bit of an understanding of what's come out this week let me know your thoughts and opinion on this it could become a regular on the channel if you're interested and i always love talking about vr games so it's a fun excuse for me to get in front of the camera and help make your decisions for you when it comes to purchasing games thanks so much for watching smash like subscribe all that good stuff and i'll catch you in the next one bye